Hello everyone, my name is Christian Niculescu and you know me for a lot of um, activities for ServiceNow. You, for the uh, UiPath, you have the Salesforce connector, ServiceNow connector, Jira and Confluence and so on. I did also a lot of videos with integration. Today, we'll talk about Salesforce. And on the Salesforce, I re received some questions in the last um, period about how we handle the Salesforce CPQ. Yeah. So this is an, um, um, uh, a different version of Salesforce. Uh, it's a plugin for Salesforce that uh, um, uh, some companies use this stuff, yeah? So let's understand how we manage this from uh, the activity. I don't have dedicated activities for this and I will not provide ded dedicated activities for uh, this SP, uh, CPQ, yeah? But what you can do, you will go on the internet and you'll write, uh, you'll write this one, you'll write uh, Salesforce CPU REST API, yeah? And you'll arrive to this page. And on this page, you'll see how you start, what is the, uh, the plugins and so on, yeah? Here in these documents, I know, I don't know how to use it, but I tell you the approach, yeah? To, to, to be able to have approach for this one. So for example, I have this code API, yeah? So, you have the API and you have here for read and you will find here the rest example. Yeah. And the rest example looks, it's a complex one with um, your instance and so on, blah, blah. Now to be able to send this command from the component, you will go here. You will go on the, uh, the component on the latest version of the component. If you will go and select here, send a JSON to an interface and send the rest command. I will use send the rest command today. So you'll go on the rest send the rest command and you see by default the command it's, um, uh, let me make it bigger. Okay, you'll see that the rest command by default it's, um, <clears throat> it's like this. With service data and so on. For the CPQ, it's, uh, it's a different one. So I will select, I want to select the self to send the send full command, yeah? So here, I will go and put the full comment. And let me copy, control C, and I will show you on the notepad, the full comment, yeah? So I copy paste the full comment from the internet. Here is my instance. I will show you how to get my instance. And then you see, you say you have service, Apex, uh, and so on, yeah? And on the last one, on the, that example, you need to provide the idea of the code. For me, I, Installed from the internet, uh, sell, uh, Salesforce CPQ, and I got, I find here a code, I'm in the code, and I get the ID of the code, yeah? Or you have direct the, uh, the um, in the normal, you will get the here for the ID of the code uh, if you search, you have uh, the activities, yeah? Now, so I copy paste this one from the internet, from their example, this example. I provide him the ID, yeah? And now for my instance, it's very easy. Remember when you connect here from UiPath Studio, the system will provide you the instance. So this is your instance, yeah? Be careful, in, in my case, I have a system that doesn't require the security token. So I will complete just the user password and uh, computer key and computer secret, yeah? And in this way, I send a comment to the, um, to the system, even it's a, a CPQ system, I say that it's a full comment and I will get my response. In my case, this is a get comment, yeah? So if I want to post a patch, you select from there the, uh, the system, yeah? The, the type of the comment. And here I will have my response, exactly in the way that they present this on the internet, yeah? So in this way, you are able to send these comments for the for specific for for this one. I don't work with this project, with with this product, so I'm not able to give you more more details. But that's the way how you approach <clears throat> these comments, yeah. Contracts and so on. Renewal. So this is the way how you you call the the REST API. Now you have also the second way. Remember that I built some videos. I create here some videos on how to send REST API commands to uh, uh, 
to Salesforce without any, any activity, yeah? So you can watch this video or this video or the authentication. And on that video, on that one, basically you go and uh, let me 200. Um, you have the HTTP request, you put all the parameters on the HTTP request. In your case, you, if you don't have, in my case, if I don't have the, um, the security token, I will remove it from here. I take the JSON the instance, I take the, the access token, and then I have my comment here, yeah? So this is the two ways of approaching the stuff. Using the HTTP request, videos with, uh, uh, with direct one or using the component uh, and on the component use this send rest command and here check the uh, send uh, full command. Yeah, and basically you can put exactly the string that you, you receive from the cape. Uh, you see that it's different. So basically it's a service, it's on the Apex rest and so on, yeah? And here you need to, um, to check all the commands that are um, working via REST API and they are command via curl, because uh, there are some commands that working only via Apex, yeah? And there you need to run Apex stuff. So as usual, contact me on the LinkedIn or on YouTube and tell me what else you want to, to see on my channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one, stay safe.